just got through with a walkthrough here at uh, the football stadium. We're going to play on tomorrow, Coach. Uh, we've been here for a couple days now. How about your thoughts on how the trip down to Texas has gone as uh, the Niners prepare for the national championship game? Yeah. First class, and I think the hospitality has been nothing short of amazing. And big time venue, uh, big time game, and we're looking forward to represent the Maverick Nation tomorrow with pride. Pretty happy with where you are uh, heading into tomorrow's game. I think so. You know, there's one young man that won't make it back uh, to play tomorrow, but that's unfortunate for him. Uh, but for the most part, uh, we're pretty healthy, and uh, hopefully the sick bug doesn't get us by tomorrow afternoon. Well, regardless of what happens tomorrow, right? Just an unbelievable season for the guys. What are you hoping for tomorrow? You got to. Uh, going into the uh, game, your thoughts on uh, the start of the game and how that's maybe uh, the way that you think it's going to go for it. Yeah, you know, when we talk about our seniors, uh, I think it's really important that we understand the legacy that they've left, the tradition, you know, that they've laid before others. Um, you know, it's been an impressive time for those guys to get to this venue and to this stage every year taking another step. Quarterfinals in 2017, semifinals last year and now we're in the finals. So we have nothing but great things to be happy about and we're so pleased with their performance and hopefully we get off to a good start because in these kind of venues and these kind of games, uh, if you can get out ahead, then a lot of different things get into the minds of people who uh, are behind and hopefully that's not us and uh, we can stay the course and try and go one and zero. Just a couple more questions here. Uh, what do we know about West Florida? What do you expect to see from those guys? Well, I tell you what, the quarterback is nothing short of impressive. Even though he's a redshirt freshman, uh, he's playing like a junior, a senior kind of player. Uh, he's got tremendous mechanics. He can uh, take the design of a play and extend it far beyond what it's designed. So if he gets into second four seconds, five seconds, six seconds, where he's moving out of the pocket, keeping his eyes downfield, that's when he's the most dangerous. Uh, is when plays break down. He's got a knack and a canny to deliver the ball to places that it's tough to do on the run, on the move, uh, but that's definitely his strength and his leadership has been real impressive. Uh, a couple of keys for us in the game. Well, we got to minimize him. You know, we always want to stop the run. We always want to run the ball well. We need to score more than 31 points to win. We need to hold them under 19. Those things are important. And in the turnovers, you know, last week against Fair State, Fair State was inside the one yard line, uh, had the ball, could have went up 10 points basically at the end of the third quarter with only like 30 seconds left. That would have been Katie Bar the door, and I think they would have won the game at home being up 10 late. But they fumbled again, uh, one of six turnovers last weekend. If we if we're want to win this game, we, we can't turn the ball over. If we do it once or twice, maybe we can overcome it. Uh, but we really have to take care of that football. All right, one game to go. Good luck tomorrow, Coach. Thanks, Paul.